what is going on everybody um i am super excited to be giving you guys a different insight on the channel so obviously i haven't been playing as much as i want to especially with covid it's kind of been crazy this year um, but i am looking forward to getting more content to you guys different courses that you can see here in my area um, that i'll be trying to take a look at for you guys um, so first off, I appreciate the love, the subscribers. I appreciate all of you. Uh, make sure you guys continue to share everything so that way we can continue to grow together. Leave a like on this video, which will be a reaction to my uh, first course vlog. Um, that way I can also see what I could probably improve on. You guys leave a comment down below. Uh, you guys have definitely commented on the original video, um, which has been great. I appreciate that. Um, so let's keep growing this and, um, it's like again subscribe to the channel that's a little like cjm golf icon also i got a logo y'all like i'm official i got a logo i'm super hype about that even though i'm not too too hype it's because my baby and uh, my child and my wife are asleep um so i can't be super super excited but otherwise i would be um but yes so guys this is uh just a reaction video to uh what i my first nine hole course vlog i already know this was not the best outing but let's see what happens so if you guys are ready let's get into it all right so real quickly on this intro so this was like different videos i tried to put together on a, like a phone app uh to make uh like a little quick little intro i actually kind of like it the only thing i didn't like is the fact that on one of those days um i had braids in my hair and um i was on a driving range we had just played a short course i was on a driving range afterwards and i still had my do-rag on so i didn't realize that until now but yeah oh well this was also my uh golf lesson i did at golf tech so shout out to golf tech and uh, i forget the guy's name who had worked with me but shout out to golf tech as far as helping me out in my strive to be better at this game called golf but back to the video all right we've got the first hole here dad's on his on the tee box first we're looking at 356 so as a based off the title we were at corbin hills this was nine holes this is one of the courses we played pretty consistently as far as um, our church tournament has been down there um so um corbin hills is in salisbury north carolina um, this road right here is actually through a neighborhood so half the time you have to wait because cars go by so you'll see a truck kind of go by with a trailer um, but yeah this is the first hole i try to put like little pictures of how long it was and everything to kind of give you guys some insight this sticks all the way down straight shot got a little hill on the left see how we and start my dad is today. all adidas and callaway i got my adidas shirt on now to the right side to the fluffy tree out there on the so right if you're paying attention um you can see the ball flight it didn't exactly line up with the shot tracer um this was my first time also using shot tracer and yeah there's a truck this was also my second attempt my first shot was terrible my first shot actually went to the fence on the left good shot that was a better Maybe shot. Shot tracer ball. went higher, but caught actually right back up with yeah, the ball when it landed. Shot, All right, so you can't probably hear it too much. This was my second shot, about 137. Um, I tried to zoom into this as much as I could, and uh, it wasn't the best. Um, but the ball ended up landing just left side, about maybe 10, maybe really 10 feet away from the edge of the green on the left side. So you can kind of see it drop right there. Um, we're working on some editing tools so I can kind of show you guys better. So that's why I wanted to react to it to kind of see how what you guys are seeing. So this was Pops doing the same shot. It didn't go well, so I just kind of skipped over. Um, he ended up hitting to the other fairway, but had a, actually had a good, you know, recovery shot. He was able to get it back on the green. It started tracking a little bit towards the hole. So, I mean, he left himself a good maybe, what, 10, 15 footer? Now, this was my third shot just off the green. Of course, I thinned it, and it just runs right onto the other side of the green. Like, come on. right. Currently, right now, I use my 9 and my 8 
to uh, chip. I'm working back on my wedges to get my chipping game in order because the best thing would have done is to get it to run short but also stop short of the hole. Happy his dad with his par putt pushed it off to the – you can kind of see now I'm looking at it. You can kind of see his putter um, push that one off a little bit, so that kind of forced him to miss that to the left by his angle. Um Kind of another push again, so putting stroke wasn't starting off well. We took bogey though. We were bogey or bogey or nothing. So right, you take so bogey and keep hole moving. Down. Uh, I took a five. <laughs> wasn't really that best. Got the same hat on right now. All right, second hole is about 150 to the to part three. I'll show you guys part three 150. Ooh. Out that Shaky way. camera work. Some guys on the box up there see that zooming feature on that camera wasn't the best all right so yeah so the gps thinks at 170 but from the team where we were at on our watches it was about 153 um so dad went first see what we can get all right shot tracer definitely didn't catch it all the way his shot went a little bit further to the left um, you'll see on the second shot, but it caught a little bit. All right, I didn't care too much for this angle. Looking back at it now, only because yeah, that it cut off the uh, shot, and it actually went a little bit further up towards the green. Still wasn't a bad. I striked it pretty all right, but it wasn't wasn't what I wanted. Sixty-seven yards. All right, so there's the second shot through the tree. Up oh, went up. I know he got it up in the air. Off to the right side of the green there. Okay, I said right side of the green. Right, so yep, that's right where he was. So I'm like, it's it's kind of interesting to try to record and you because you're setting up the camera, you're trying to put the idea of what shots you want, um, and so to for me, like having somebody who understands where my mind is as far as what angles and what shots I want to get uh, for you guys, it's something interesting. Um, so here though, my ball fell down. I dropped down. That was my birdie because that was my second shot. Um, just got it enough on the green because I couldn't really see. It was a full blind shot. Um, didn't know how far the hole was. And again, take bogey or nothing. So keeps the game moving, at least for us. Eventually, I'm trying to get to where I play full scores. I'm going to get a couple of a round where I just show you guys the full score, um, good, bad, or indifferent. All right, so this putt. Um, I know I had to put some oomph on it, but I put it a little bit far outside and not enough oomph. Um, so that was par. Uh, so just a quick tap to see if I can get a bogey in it. And didn't push it out further enough. So we're already sitting at two over, two holes in. All right, so this is hole number three, par four, 384 yards. Um, it's a slight bend to the right. I'm going with three wood because I can control it a little bit better. I say that now um, only because my actual strike was terrible. Yep. So in this one, I cut it across and left my – I didn't get my hips turned towards the target by the time I hit the ball, which I'm working on now. Um, so I'll hit a driving range video for you guys for that to kind of show the things I've been working on. Um, but, yeah, that ended up going back onto the first uh, fairway. All right, Pops on to you, 380. All right, and Pops was his. He was actually playing pretty good golf this day. I know we only did the ninth nine holes on this, but when we cut the camera off and started playing, um, he still played pretty well. Um, but this one, he hit a three wood as well, striped it right down the left side of the fairway. That'll work. Kick back towards the fairway. And it's amazing how Shot Tracer. Like I just a shout out to the people who created Shot Tracer. It's pretty crazy how that app can just pin start from the ball and you can set it off from there and it will record even if you're on the app you can just hit record and it'll trace the ball for you uh, but this was dad's second shot uh, ball a little bit below your feet going towards the right so it's not too bad his ball was low and it kind of kicked off to the right um, off the green down towards that little kind of hill part of course like I said my ball was way out in the right so I took a drop here um, to play where he was at and I'm pretty sure I did not have enough club I think I have a 52 um, which I probably should have did a soft uh, pitching wedge 
because I got more air, as you can tell. I got my hips right to it, so that was fine. But the ball ended up landing about 10 yards short of the green. Yeah, so this was my third shot being short as the U-Haul truck goes by. So I was 32 yards away from the hole, so I, I still had some pretty good distance. Um, but I did have, I think I had a nice bump and run shot, and this was actually my 52 wedge. So I got it up, uh, kind of scraped through the grass a little bit, but it had a nice little run out. Um, left me about maybe less than 10 feet from a putt. All right, so saying it right there, uh, Pops, that was his ball that he just putted. That other ball, that was actually my ball from the other hole that we found. Um, so I got some good distance off of it, but he found it. He found another ball over there. Um, all right, so I'm going for par. Technically. Ideally, yeah, with a drop shot, you know, you go to three. So that would have been bogey right there. But I would have just took that, which I did. Um in the end case um but four, you know we were just playing yards, from tee. all right so par four out yeah like right. a low stinger as you four. saw kind of you paid four attention it kind of ran off to that little shack they got out there it's like a little old little ball house i don't know um camera angle i gave this one to my dad camera angle wasn't the best because all you really pretty much see is me um i had a decent strike at it but i didn't turn my hips up to keep it on I mean, target uh, so it floated out to the right um so where pops is playing from is actually where my ball landed he took a drop at my spot so this was two second shot 143 yards and you can see that was not the best shot in the world um oh sorry i lied he took a drop in the fairway this is exactly where my ball landed he didn't want to play from the patchy rough so i had maybe two yard difference um, don't know what I probably had an eight. I want to say I tried to keep it low, um, All right, so we're but not it did the clip greatest, the tree. So I didn't here. really get that we're stinger shot I wanted. Yeah, it's a little chunky lie right here. And Pop's trying to improve his lie a little bit. He just moved the ball to a better lie. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I was saying. We were just kind of getting a quick practice in. Yeah, and that wasn't good. He duffed right it, there. hit the ground before he got to the ball. All right, so this is where my ball ended up. Um, I think I still, I don't know if I put the marker. Okay, yeah, so I had 63 yards in. Um, probably got a 56. Um, I'm still working on these wedges and just trying to, there's a lot of things I'm working on. So like I said, I'm going to give you guys that video. Um, yep, that got completely underneath the ball, didn't get the distance I wanted, and it stopped and literally like maybe four feet short from the green. So that was Pops. He hit his shot onto the green and then got on. I missed that recording, but he tried to get that for bogey. Um, I did the same. I chipped on and then got to this point, tried to putt with one hand. Um, you can see the strike wasn't that good. It did not go in, so I skipped ahead. All right, so this hole right here drops all the way downhill. You literally see the grass that's like ahead, and then it drops. This has been our enemy hole ever since we've played this course for some reason. I've tried a six. I've tried a seven. I've even tried some other clubs. Like, I haven't done three wood because I can't. I'm too long for that. You see, Pop said he is dead into the trees on the left. There's literally about maybe, I would say, at least 50 yards of room between the left side tree and the right side tree. But if you did notice, his ball flew out of the trees and dropped down. So I'm pretty sure I have a six, which I put pulled up, but I know exactly what I did. I was more focused on where the ball was going to go. So it did go towards the green. This is probably the straightest shot I've had on this hole. Um, but, yeah, so it didn't go the best. So I get here. Not on the green, trying to get on into, trying to see if I can get a nice uh, chip shot over to run to the green. This The hole was pretty far out, so I had about maybe, I don't know if I put it in here. Let me see. Yeah, 27 yards. But this is the funny part. Not exactly what I wanted, so... I managed to do exactly what I didn't want to do. And one of the things I'm also working on is trusting and committing to the shot, not worrying about the outcome, um, but trusting what I want the ball to do and what I want my 
what myself, my hands, and everything to do. Um, I focus too much on what could go wrong um, and think about that in the back of my head instead of clearing my mind out and just hitting the shot I want to hit. Or envision, like, you know, when you envision the shot, hitting, hitting that shot that you want to hit, not worrying about where it's going to go or what's going to happen because you already envision what's going to happen. So you don't need to worry about what could go wrong. So I put it off the green, got it close. Um, of course, that was a part three, so this was for bogey. And nowhere near the hole, I just rolled right around it. So take the bogey, keep on moving. And Pops did the same thing. All right, so par five, 422. This is hole number six. Pops had a pretty decent drive. It rolled out to the right a little bit towards this probably last tree that you can see down this right line. Um, my driver's hit or miss sometimes with my little calf muscles. I don't have to feel Mickelson calf muscles at all. Uh, <laughs> so, But I did manage to get pretty good contact. I still wanted to get my hips a little bit closer to the target line. I know I used 18 oh, birdies on the app, or the AI app, to see what some of my issues were. I actually used one of this shot here uh, to check. But it did uh, stay towards that left line, towards that tree, and you'll see it here. Yeah, so it didn't kind of turn back. I, it took me a minute to try to get the shot tracer to work, but you'll see I'm um, more closer to the um, cart path than that shot tracer showed. Um, so this was my second shot, however, 107 yards. I think initially I had to switch clubs because I didn't have the right club. Um, try to zoom in. You can kind of see the ball just fall. Um, I did find the issue that zooming in does not help the quality of the video. Um, so that's one thing I'm going to try to work on. Uh, but the ball ended up landing on the green right there. So this was a pretty good hole. Putting little sound effects in just to kind of spice up the video for you guys. So, yeah, but Pops hit his shot on. So this was that first putt was his third. That was for par. Um, actually, I guess that would have been bogey. Maybe he had another shot or something. Um, but yeah, so this was for Eagle. I was really excited about it, and it was tracking nice, but bruh. I was so excited about it. Yeah, I had to put the bruh on there because you can't leave a Eagle putt short. You definitely don't want to leave a birdie putt short. So had to make sure I put that birdie in. So I think that was my only birdie of the day, too. All right, we're on hole number seven. All right, so Four hole number five. Uh, this is an interesting four. hole. You had, like, on that C and there, you only have that 240 to the middle, really down below. Um, and then it cuts off uh, over this little kind of creek area up toward, uh, well, up top towards the hill. So usually we take maybe, I usually take about an eight. I think that's what I have here. Um, and just put something down there to play with next. The shot tracer definitely by this angle was terrible because the shot tracer went up, but if you notice, the ball just kind of right, went straight So left. we are now on the seventh hole. Um, second shot's not too bad right here. Sitting at about 347, got to get way up there. Pops is over there hanging in the shade. It was hot. We kind of holding off on a few things right now. It was hot this day, y'all. Figure I give you guys a recap on what's going on. So, so far we're playing kind of captain's choice. It's more like a practice round. Uh, just trying to get some things in. I really got to get my irons dialed up, so I'll have another video with my, uh, I got an app on my phone. I'll do a description of that probably at the end of this. Um, but we're going to talk, I'll talk about that, but I'm going to use that to try to get my numbers on my wedges, as you've probably been hearing already. My wedges, I... Now, I do want to do a quick pause. I know this is going to be a pretty decent sized video. Um, so the app that I'm talking about is actually called Shot Vision. Um, if you follow my friend, well, not my friend. I don't know him technically at this point as far as us exchanging. Um, but I consider anybody who gives me information to make me better is a friend. So um, my guy, Rick Shields, shout out to Rick Shields. If you have not followed his channel or anything, I don't even know who you are because everybody in the golf world knows who Rick Shields is. This guy's got a million view, a million subscribers. Um, I follow him on actually on all three of my channels um, just because this guy is that good and I wanted to support him. Um, but he gives very good videos. So I know he recently at this recording did a um, review on the app called Shot Vision. And basically, um, it's an app. You can definitely find it on YouTube. I may link a video here just kind of give you a description. But I'm going to do a review on it myself. Um, basically, uh, you know you have your launch monitors like TrackMan and all these other simulators and things like that. But this is actually an app on your phone that you can set at least a driver length behind you and like two paces to the left of you. 
uh, where you're hitting the ball and it with the cameras that you have on your phone it's supposed to track the flight of the ball now there is two different things as far as the free one and the, the word that you pay for which is like seven bucks um, if you do the seven bucks one uh, then you get you know your carry distance and your total distance so but I'll do more about that in the actual video I'll talk about that more but that's what I'm talking about now here to get my numbers dialed in on those and figure out where each club for me plays uh, but once I can get that I think we can do pretty good with you know hitting good shots so right now we're just waiting it's warm so I think I'm gonna go join pops in the shade over here so this was a part five like I said first shot you just got to play a soft one down the hill because it's a blind tee shot you got a long ways to go way up there still 350 out Pops all right so this was 347 like. uh and he Trying had to, to get, get kind of a, a lower shot if unless you could draw it around that tree if, with his hybrid that he had um neither one of us have the workability just yet for a draw as you can it's see he duffed it and it just rolled down that he, towards the lower portion of that which right makes it easier for a way to get over um he might not be in a bad spot yeah all right, so here's mine. Um, I like this low angle, but not for every kind of shot. Uh, so I definitely got to work on that. I know I had a four iron here. Um, and for those of you who have already seen this, uh, don't ruin it for you, the, 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 the guess, because uh, this happened. Yep, so I managed to completely focus more on the same thing. I was focusing on the outcome and not worried about actually hitting the shot I wanted. So we try it again. And if you saw that ball flight, peeled it off to the right through the tree and it fell on the other side of those trees. Pops with his third. I did get it over. So Pops here cut off about maybe less than 100 yards off of his shot. Um, oh, able to get his hybrid tree, on the other side. Underneath to hit the second one. Drop down into the fairway. And um, I believe I dropped with his ball on this next one. Um, because mine was in these trees over here. Yeah, so I, I dropped with him um, after those guys cleared off. All right, fourth, that was third shot? Third shot on, this your fourth? All right, so here, here we were trying to count up our shots because we were so focused on everything else, we couldn't even think about how many shots we had totally just hit. Uh, so right here, yeah, Pops was on his fourth shot, as you guys know, as you guys have been counting. And... Bruh. <laughs> just the way that he pauses and puts his hand on his hip is just like a complete really so yeah he hit his completely went straight to the right like he turned it told it oh i don't everything went wrong on that shot i'm sure a lot of you can attest to that my non-professional players y'all can attest to those kind of shots all right so here you'll kind of hear it i put this little ticker across to kind of explain it because um, I know the audio quality wasn't the best, which I have something that's going to improve that as far as what my actual video is. Um, but, yeah, so I actually grabbed my 6 instead of my 9. So when I placed it down, I realized it was that much more flatter than versus a 9. So I was like, wait a minute, this is going to completely, like, go through that hump in the heel. Um, but Dad liked his shot. That's why he was backing up, kind of looking at it because he liked it a lot. So here's my 9 iron. And, of course, went off to the right side. It didn't do well, but it actually went to the right side of the green, but bounced right, off. Guys, so, so it ended exactly up being right I here. And, and, again, not too dialed in on the wedges or as far as doing, like, chipping. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is a 52, maybe a 56. I tried to probably loft it a little bit. Um, Try to get some practice swings in. Fourth shot for birdie. And, of course, focus on the outcome instead of making the shot. Um, so, yeah, I was upset. I thinned it. Rolled all the way back to that corner back there. So, again, not the best angle because I didn't think about that when I was – I didn't know what kind of parts. I magically actually got into the shot of the camera. Um, so, Pops puts his two in. I think that was bogey, maybe double. Um, my putt was coming downhill, so I tried to pull some off of it, but – at the same time, you got to get it. You got to hit it a little bit. Um, so that was for par. Uh, this is for bogey. They hit it harder than I did the first time. So, all right. This hole. This hole was completely terrible as I'm getting another message. Oh, out to the right. And the trees on the right. 
still can see it. It's rolling. All right, so yeah, this hole was not the best. Uh, you saw Pops reaching for his pocket, and he knew he needed to hit another shot. He ended up hitting one, uh, still kind of over to that side, and it wasn't good. I tried mine. I hit it fat. It just kind of slid down to the green. Oh, down to the, uh, the fairway. All right, so this is the last hole, ladies and gents, so we're finally here. Um, this was like 300-plus yards. Pops hit like a really toppy shot as far as not like top the ball, but just a nice um, high driver three wood. I think he had a driver. I don't know. Um, but he had a, y'all saw the, the Tracy. He had a pretty high shot. Me, I was trying to angle this because I knew it was probably going to slice. Um, so I was trying to cut this across, and I realized that my arms were further away than I really wanted them to. So that completely i was all the way open in the face um came in at the wrong angle and that shot tracer was a lie that ball went way right so what i did in this shot is i counted this as my sec my second shot i just basically walked my ball from wherever it was and brought it back somewhere close to where i could play it um this was 105 and i had my 52 i managed to thin it as you guys saw. So, I ended up hitting another one where Dad was from and getting it down here. Again, not counting the actual shots because technically this would be like stroke number six. Um, but just counting it where we were at, and that was the bogey there. Uh, Y'all know how we most guys play golf. You play the, play the best. Alright, so I think that's it. Alright guys, so that is a pretty much reaction to an explanation, I guess more or less, of my first course vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, again, leave a like on this video. Also comment down below if you enjoyed the reaction, if you want to see more reactions to my actual golf videos. As far as look like the course vlogs and things like that to kind of explain everything, um, let me know. And also subscribe to the channel. Again, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button on any of my videos on this channel directly. Yeah, at the bottom, you can click on the subscribe watermark, and that'll get you right subscribed, and you don't even have to miss anything in the video. So, again, I love you guys. Stay tuned for some more content. I'm excited to what this new year is going to bring, and the golf course is going to open up more for me, and I can get out there. So, again, I'm out. Y'all be breathing.